a teenage killer who was caught on CCTV dancing after stabbing to death a pupil on a bus can be named after a judge jailed him for life. Marvin Dyer, 16, plunged a Rambo knife through the heart and lungs of 15-year-old Baptist Rajay in revenge after the victim told jokes about him on Snapchat. Minutes after the attack on October 10, the killer was caught on CCTV dancing after a phone call from a friend informing him a schoolboy had died. A judge lifted an order banning the reporting of Dyer's name at the teenager's sentencing at the Old Bailey today. He was jailed for life and will have to serve a minimum of 16 years before he can be considered for release. Judge John Hill QC said, There is no evidence or no sufficient evidence from which I could determine that lifting anonymity would cause harm to Marvin Dyer or affect his rehabilitation. During the trial Dyer told jurors Baptista had called him a midget and wet in a heated group chat involving rival schools in East London. Jurors heard the Snapchat group was called School Beef Chat. Dyer boarded the 241 bus in Stratford after a friend on the top deck tipped him off that Baptista was about to get off. Wearing a balaclava and a single blue latex glove, he confronted Baptista as he came down the stairs and stabbed him twice. A second 15-year-old was also knifed by Dyer in the arm and knee, but survived. Baptista was able to run off the bus to a nearby McDonald's, but collapsed and died in the fast food restaurant. Jailing Dyer for life with a minimum of 16 years, Judge Hillen said, You are just six weeks older than him. You have your life. You have taken Baptistas away, leaving what his family described as a massive void in their lives. He was a popular boy much loved who showed promise at school and its sports. He and his family had dreams for the future which will never be fulfilled. You have not only taken a life, but blighted the lives of many other whom knew and loved Baptista. You and your victim had fallen out on social media over a bit of inter-school banter. Already the all too regular specter of obsession with knives and violence was all too obvious. You always intended Baptista should die. There was a significant degree of planning and premeditation, and there was no immediate provocation, and the Snapchat clearly was no justification for any assault. You were armed with a knife, and took it to the scene intending to commit murder. I am satisfied you were a mature 15 and now 16 year old. This was your own personal enterprise not a group attack. I do not consider you to be naive but calculating. Baptista's mother, Josephine, said, This senseless killing has taken away his dreams. I just cannot stop crying because his killing makes no sense, especially considering Baptista was such a good boy. Baptista's death has left a massive void in our lives we miss and think about him each day. A second youth, also 16, was cleared of murder and unlawful wounding. Dyer was arrested when his own mother marched him to Forest Gate Police Station and handed him in after he confessed to her. He admitted manslaughter but was convicted of the murder of Baptista and wounding with intent against the other victim 